Hey there, everybody. It's Steve at Chief Skills again. And uh, this has come up on Chief Talk. This is a U-shaped stair with this solid wall sloped to follow the stairs in the middle. And here's the view from upstairs. And uh, the stairs at Chief, you know, they, <laughs> they fight you at every turn. So this isn't that complicated to build. So I'm going to show you how I would do it. And hopefully it helps. Okay, so I got this little floor plan. Here's the stair I was just showing you right here that I've already built. And we're going to build one on this side. So go over here to the stair tool and the U-shaped stool stair. And I've got it with a four and a half inch gap so the wall can be drawn in between there. And I'm going to go, in this case, I'm going to go, it doesn't really matter, but I'm going to go counterclockwise. And just push it right up against this wall, maybe like right here. So it's going counterclockwise, as you can see. Clockwise would be, of course, to the right. Okay, so the next thing I would do is draw an interior wall. Um, so for me, it's uh, uh, right here, interior wall. And come on. It's slow because I'm recording, I guess. And... Um, the other thing I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to open this stair and put the railing on the right. Okay. My default has it on the left. And then I will draw this wall back here to there. And I'm going to tab and get that, reverse the wall, and pull it over to here. And then I'm going to take this stair and click it to the drywall surface right there and take this stair and click it to the drywall surface right there and then pull this one over to here and then probably just and move it back a half inch and this one it doesn't really matter but i'll just pull it up to there then what you do is well let's just click here and make the stairwell then i'm going to click on this wall open it and I'm going to make it a railing and then I'm going to go to rail style make it solid and follow stairs and if we take a look at that that is pretty much it we have got it there's our um, half wall drawn right there of course there's a baluster there and I'll show you why chief when it creates these um, landings it's got one right here let's just drag that right to there and right to there and if you pull this back and come down here and click that little tool right there to take the railing off that uh, that newel will disappear as you'll see right there and uh, the other thing here is you can actually disconnect this rail from this rail so if you click here and you go here um, I gotta remember where this is though. Railing. Use connected stair railing. I'm gonna disconnect that and make this like 42. And then click OK. And it raises it up so that it hits the newels. But like this one doesn't hit the newel. So I, I'm gonna go here, click on this wall, and I'm gonna change the newel. And I'm gonna use one with a taller top, like this one right here. And that still doesn't look good. So I'm going to open this rail and raise it up just a little bit to say 36. Of course, it screws up this newel down here. So I'm going to go to the newels tab and raise this to maybe 48. And, you know, you can do what you want. But there, there you go. That looks like it would at least work. These newels look really thick. I'm not sure what happened here. Let's look at these real quick. Well, they say three and a half, but they look thicker than that, but it doesn't matter. So um, there's the railing, and let's go upstairs and take a look and see what we've got upstairs. Um, as you can see, when we created the stairwell, Chief just created this um, railing, and I'm just going to click on these and open them and say solid. So they're half walls. And if we take a look at that, there you go. Now, as you can see right here, this connection isn't beautiful. 
Um, the other thing I might do is take this um, this wall here and maybe move it over. And the reason I'm doing that is just so that the landing the, the landing rail doesn't collide with that. But th maybe this is a solid wall, so you might have to mess with that. Um, and then this door opening right here that's creating this opening. That's another thing you might have to play with. I think sometimes I just, because it's chief, you can't get it perfect. I sometimes just, um, I just, oops, sorry about that. I got it. There you go. I was trying to give this view right here. Uh, you know, whether you want this wall, let's look at it in vector, to stick out past here or to go back and have this railing go over. You could open this and change that rail. Um, the wall cap right here and you can make it you know you could change this molding if you wanted I mean you could make it an inch and a half tall and maybe make it only instead of full wall width maybe make it three don't ask me why just I'm I'm just throwing things out there <laughs> uh, that way there won't stick past the corner of course that looks pretty lousy and uh, so let's say full wall width or make it even wider, make it like five and a half. Like that. So as you can see, you know, the opening here might have to be messed with, but I'll let you play with that. You get the general idea. And uh, really to make a sloping center rail is pretty automatic in chief. So of course, if you look at the floor plan, they don't really give us a wall here. So you might have to go and create a polyline like this. And, you know, I don't know. Just click it to here. Or just make it four and a half inches wide. Let me turn on my temporary display here. And make this four and a half. And I would go down, actually. Get a center line on this wall. Control X, go up, Control Alt V. Then I'd center this polyline right here on that line and pull it back and then maybe give this a little fill, uh, you know, like a gray or whatever, just so you know there's a wall there. Uh, whatever, you know, you know what I'm saying. Chief doesn't draw the wall there for some reason. One more thing I want to point out about these stairs is I have my stairs set that I don't I think it's in style right here um, open underneath or not okay and then side inset and I set it at three quarters thinking this skirt board would be about three quarters of an inch but when you look at it chief doesn't put our baseboard on here and the other thing I wanted to point out is the landing here you can change the size of this trim board by changing the thickness of the landing itself. So if you wanted to make that like 11 and a quarter, it, it'll put a full size trim board right there. So that's what, one little tip. But this is another problem because why Chief doesn't treat this as a wall is beyond me, but maybe someday. So you can do, you can draw an interior wall right here. And it requires you to mess with it, you know. And so sometimes it's better to just pull the camera over here so you can see. Oh, that's the wrong camera. Let me get rid of that. Pull this camera over here. Split your screen. So you can kind of see what you're doing. And then over here you got your wall. And if you move the wall... And I tell you what I did. I go up here to the general wall defaults. I double click right here. And I come down here and I'm not using the snap grid, but I've changed it to one quarter of an inch. I just changed that. So when I move my wall here, I'm moving at one quarter inch increments. And I just move it over until the baseboard. Well, where is the baseboard? <laughs> I don't know. Eh, maybe that doesn't work. Let's see what if I take this stair and I click open underneath, then what will happen? 
Okay. Well, for some reason though, there's no uh, there's no baseboard on this wall. I'm not, maybe because it's not connected. That's the reason. Okay. Come on, Steve. Figure it out. There you go. So now I've got this, and I'm just going to move it back. As you can see, you can just move it in little increments until it looks good. I mean, that's all you can really do with Chief in these stairs. And there you go. And, uh, you know, you get your shoe mold. It looks like it could actually be pulled towards the front just a little bit more. The thing about it is you'll have to watch. Uh, if you pull it too much, it'll stick up through the top. So <laughs> it's it's just the way it is. I, 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 don't get me started on the stairs. But that'll, that'll look, of course, a lot better. And so I thought I'd mention that. You can also control the display of this stair a little better possibly now that we've got this wall under here I, I might take this wall and open it and actually define it as a different wall uh, just interior for under stair and just change the fill to white I guess or make it zero and um, even change the lines to something like this. And there you go. You can also control this brake line on a U-shaped stair. So maybe you can see all these stairs going up and then wrap around. If you click on this set of stairs and you open this and you click has brake line, maybe you make it 24 or something like that. It'll wrap at least a wrap around and uh, I think that looks a little better on a U-shaped stair. And then you can also um, open this and, um, no, you have to open the one that has the brake line, my fault. And then say for upstairs, you can just have outline. So if you did that and you go upstairs, all you'd see is this. Or if you go down and you say um, normal, then when you go up, you'll see the entire stair. So some different concepts there, and you'd show it how, how you like. So there you have it, the U-shaped stair with Chief. A couple tips, hope they help. And uh, feel free to leave me some comments below, good or bad, and uh, tell me what you'd like to see videos on. I'll do my best to get them out there to, to you to help. Have a great day and go out there and make some money with your Chief skills. Be good.